So I'm from Geneva. Mm -hmm. I was born here. Mm -hmm. I lived in the U.S. for about uh, 13 years. Originally, my mom is from Cameroon. She moved here when she was about 14. And my dad is French, uh, but Eastern European, so from ex-Yugoslavia. I think um, my development through activism didn't quite start until I would say last year. I think a lot of people qualify activism as maybe going in a protest once once a year, uh, liking a post or posting something, mm -hmm. and then they're like, that's it, I'm an activist. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, coming from Europe, I was as in going to school in Europe, especially particularly in the region here, I was not exposed to concepts of uh, racism. I was not exposed to concepts like um, feminism. I didn't quite academically um, delve into it until my bachelor's, which was in uh, North Carolina. And when I discovered that race was a social concept, when I discovered how much it, would, it, it impacts um, people of color, but specifically black people, um, I, I think I probably went into a depression, if, I've, if I'm being honest with myself, uh, back then, because again, coming from here, um, we're not exposed to the concepts academically, but we're also, I think, shielded from um, even approaching it. And so it's quite hidden, it's quite subtle. Mm -hmm. um, but in the US, they've had plenty of time to see and quantify um, the impacts. Mm -hmm. And so living in um, Miami and then eventually moving to North Carolina for my bachelor's mm -hmm. it, it's it really gave me um, some more practical experiences which combined with the academic uh, rigor of my bachelor's mm -hmm. it felt like activism was is kind of the only path that will allow you know, sort of us to as a society to grow Activism is a, I think it's overused, and I think it's wrongly used. Mm -hmm. I think people use it as, oh, you're an activist, and it has a negative connotation. Mm -hmm. um, I think so. Tell, yeah. tell me why. I think, I think that um, depending on, on the field and in the area that you work in, being an activist means being a troublemaker. It means um, disagreeing with the status quo. It means pushing boundaries. Mm -hmm. It means highlighting um, faults and issues. And that often gets you labeled as a problem maker. Yeah. And so activism is problem making, right? Yeah. It is problem making to the yeah. status quo. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say that I started activism or being activists, you real concrete, you know, uh, put your foot down, mm -hmm. write that letter, mm -hmm. attend a conference, mm -hmm speak up mm -hmm. until last year mm -hmm. when I, um, my, my second year of my master's degrees, mm -hmm. my master's degree at um, my current institution, yeah. Yeah. when I, I, I really realized um, that other black people were being sidelined, yeah. marginalized, um, including myself. And it felt like as president of, of a student initiative, no matter how small, um, I can have a positive impact yeah. regardless of the negative connotation regardless of the negative yeah. connotation yeah. the interviews that I've done you know they tell a story and I think it's valuable for people to hear but also the city of, the Geneva, of Geneva can hear as well mm -hmm. that just because an institution has you know such a um, pristine reputation um, racism exists there as well and it's I believe that it's this country's and I believe that it's Switzerland's duty to inquire about racism in, in all places as well as higher education